The special conference put on by the World Jewish Congress, as well as the um, Israel Allies Foundation and the Christian Embassy Jerusalem Foundation. And here, 3,000 evangelicals come, are coming, plus people from different parliamentarians all over. They come here once a year. They're the greatest supporters of Israel. They come from 30 or 40 different countries, and they're the people who stand up for Israel in the world. In the United States, they're almost 37% of the population, and they're the most active and they're the best friends we have. There are always people who will be against something, and, but at the same time, we need friends, and we need many, many friends. These people stand up for us. And today, in this world, when there are so many lies being told about Israel, there's some group that stands up and talks and says it like it is, and says the truth, believes in Jerusalem as, as the capital of Israel, believes, and that's very important. The greatest threat today for the Jewish people is the fact of media and what is happening, and the media's bias against Israel. Uh, we read in newspapers where the only pictures they show are pictures of disaster in Gaza, showing nothing about what happened to Israel. We see it on television, we see it in different reports. That's our threat. We have to, we have to do more in the whole field of Hasbara. The Jewish people have to feel that they are not being attacked, but the fact is that the media is being fair. And it's not fair at this moment. We need to do more to get out the message. And shows like this are extraordinarily important. The potential of the Middle East is enormous. If Israel had peace with its neighbors, there's no end to what can be done. Uh, right now, it's a very interesting thing Prime Minister Netanyahu, when he spoke at the UN, spoke about a relationship between Egypt, Saudi Arabia, the Emirates, and different moderate countries. And it's very important. But it's very important to do everything we can to reach out into a region. Again, the average person in the street doesn't really understand what is happening. We must do everything we can in the region to reach out to people. We must do more shows in Arabic. We must reach out to the people through the internet. That's the future. So we, the people understand what the message is. Because they're only hearing one message that's coming from other countries showing Israel in the worst possible light. We must reach out. The younger generation, which is the most influential today, are only listening to the internet. Fill the internet with positive things. Here in Israel, we have very, very interesting, powerful internet companies that are not reaching out into the region. But again, it's the combination of Christian and Jews together which will make the difference. I think had we been able to have a peace treaty with Syria, the whole Middle East might have been very different because along with that would have come Lebanon at that time which could have been, a, was still very much a Muslim-Christian balance. Things were very different. But we can't look back, we have to look forward. How close were Israel and Syria to reaching an agreement at that time? We'll never know.